The Leaning Tower of Pisa is one of the world's most iconic monuments and one of Italy's most visited tourist attractions. In this video, we'll take a look at the history, architecture, and mystery surrounding the tower. We'll also explore the unique engineering techniques that were used to stabilize the tower and keep it standing. So join us on this journey to uncover the secrets of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Where is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? The Leaning Tower of Pisa, one of the most famous buildings, is attributed to angels in the world, and it occupies in the city of Pisa in the Italian region of Tuscany, near its Pisa in the Field of Miracles, where it was built as a bell tower located in the cathedral, and to attract people visually in the year 1173, and its construction began for a period of 199 years. The Story of the Building of the Leaning Tower The construction of the Tower of Pisa began in the year 1173 of white marble, and it was designed to reach a height of 56 meters, as the third and last building of the cathedral complex in Pisa, and after the completion of the construction of the third floor of the eight floors to be built, the construction of the tower stopped, after noticing the instability its foundations are in the soft earth below it. This coincided with the outbreak of a war between the Italian cities, which led to a halt in its construction for a full century, which helped protect the tower from collapse. Because of the stability of its foundations during that period, where the engineer, Giovanni de Simone, undertook the task of completing the construction of the tower after the previous interruption period, and he sought to compensate for the inclination in it by building the upper floors to be taller over the shorter side of it, but that was the reason for the increasing immersion of the tower in the soil below it. After the tower went through many interruptions, and proposed many solutions to the problem of inclination, its construction was finally completed in the 14th century, then during the next four centuries seven bells were installed in it, the largest of which weighs 3,600 kg. At the beginning of the 20th century, the work of the heaviest bells in it was stopped, as it was believed that its movement increases its inclination, and the foundations were injected with cement and others to strengthen them, but it continued to decline at a rate of 1.2 mm annually, at the end of the 20th century, and it was also at risk of collapse, which prompted it was closed in 1990, and all bells stopped working in it, and engineers carried out many major projects to adjust its slope. The Pisa Tower shaped is the oblique. The Pisa Tower looks from abroad as a cylinder cylinder. The external facade consists of balconies and columns based on the lower pillar. The bell room is located in the above. He does not have rooms inside. The middle part is made up of a hollow cylinder built in the interior of its farricated viracana stone. For the external interface, it is built from the white neonatal stone, which was brought from San Giuliano. The Pisa Tower is tired in the southern direction of the east, at 3.99 degrees currently. Previously reached 5.5 degrees. Prior to restoration work between 1990 and 2001, this restoration work shifts a horizontal peak of 3.66 meters from the center. Attempts to save the tower from falling Attempts were repeated to erect this tower and restore its integrity, but after each attempt, this tower increased inclination and was preparing to fall more and more. Here we mention some attempts to straighten it or prevent it from increasing its slope, the engineers made several attempts to level it coinciding with the construction of the tower on the 3rd, 5th and 8th floors, but this did not prevent it from increasing its slope. Workers dug a network of holes at the base of the tower and tons of cement were poured into its foundations. The result was unexpected and made the tower sink more into the soil, which warned of caution in the next attempts, although many engineers and builders studied the tower and put forward solutions, and tried to install the tower with various means of support and arming without success. With the passage of time, the curvature of the tower reached 5.5 degrees. Officials became very concerned and assembled an international team of specialists to complete the task. They devised a plan with the help of computer models and real-world simulations to test the effectiveness of the solution, adding 827 metric tons of lead as a counterweight on the raised end and pouring rings of cement around the base. The final solution to correct the tilt was to remove part of the soil from under the raised end of the base of the tower, and the tower was declared, stable, for at least the next 300 years.
the tower is a popular tourist destination. The Leaning Tower of Pisa has been a popular tourist destination for centuries. Every year, thousands of people flock to the city of Pisa in Italy to admire the iconic building. The tower has been featured in movies, literature, and art, and it continues to be an attraction for many. Many visitors also enjoy exploring the grounds around the tower and taking pictures of the structure. Whether you are a first-time visitor or have visited it many times, the Leaning Tower of Pisa remains a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Italy. UNESCO declared the Leaning Tower and its adjacent buildings a World Heritage Site because of its cultural significance. For those looking to get closer to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, there is an indoor staircase where you can climb 294 steps to get some amazing views from the top. Additionally, there are many souvenir shops around the base that offer exclusive items such as keychains and postcards for tourists who want to remember their time here. From its fascinating history to its unique architecture, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is an unforgettable experience. In the end, if you liked the video, you can press like to encourage us for more. You can also subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell, and wait for the next video. It will definitely be fun.